Not a Capitol Hill. There would be a good time to give Congress a raise, but it has been 10 years since members have gotten even an increase for cost of living. House leaders from both parties negotiated a deal to allow pay to rise with inflation, but some lawmakers are opposing it. One of them joins me now, Congressman Josh Harder, a Democrat from California. He defeated an incumbent Republican in 2018. I appreciate your being with me, and we talk about the reasoning behind your opposition. Is, is that because you fear backlash from your constituents? Uh, absolutely. Look, before I came to Congress, I worked in business. And in business, you give an employee a raise after they've done a good job. And I don't think the American people, I don't think people from my constituency are looking at Congress today and thinking that we've actually completed our mission. Uh, we got to make sure that we're lowering the cost of health care and giving access to everyone. Then we can talk about giving ourselves a raise. Oh, the argument there is from some of your Democratic colleagues that, that, that the pay raise will actually prevent high turnover among congressional members and their aides. So wouldn't that help in the effectiveness of Congress in getting things done like you just mentioned? We need to make Congress more effective, but we do that by making sure that we're getting big money out of politics, by making sure that we are enacting real campaign finance reform, ending gerrymandering so politicians can't find their own voters. That's what we've got to do if we're going to end corruption and make sure that we're making Congress more responsible to, to people's needs. We don't do that by just giving folks a, a blanket pay raise. Yeah, so you have House Democrats' leadership in, in, in favor of this. So what, what have you told them, and do they deserve a raise more than newly elected representatives? Uh, I've told them uh, what I'm hearing from my constituents, which is that before we do anything else, we've got to prove to folks that we can do the job, that we can lower the cost of prescription drugs, that we can make sure that every American has access to seeing a doctor. That's what I got elected on. Uh, I went in a district where 100,000 people would have lost health insurance if the affordable was repealed. That's what I ran on. That's what my other colleagues across the country who flipped seats just like mine ran on as well. And we've got to make sure that we are building that trust before we're trying to, to, to do anything else. What would be your level of sacrifice or as far as the, those who have been around, those who have seen uh, accomplishments made and who, those who have actually seen progress made? Would you be willing to give up your raise to those? Well, I, I look at what we see right now, which is the average American makes $60,000 a year. Congress has already paid three times more than an average American family. And so I don't actually think that, 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 that we need to be using mm -hmm. this time as an opportunity to pay ourselves more money. I think we should be focusing on how to put more money in the, in the actual pocketbooks of, of ordinary Americans. Right. That should be the first job.